Hey, welcome back to Danish Tube. My name is Liam and in this video I'm gonna give you a few of my under the radar picks on Netflix. Let's do it. Danish Tube. So firstly you will notice that I am looking a little bit red like a crab or lobster. And that's because I'm in Argentina and if you are also not in Denmark then you'll be happy to know I have found something amazing. You may already know I'm a big fan of VPNs. For many years, I've been using this one called CyberGhost, but recently was contacted by Express VPN. Oh, they're like the gods coming down from the sky because this is the only VPN that I know that works with Netflix. Oh, it's lightning fast and it works with um, a lot of the other big streaming providers. So if you're not in Denmark, you want to see the Danish Netflix, Link, description, click it. It is an affiliate link. So not only will you be getting an awesome VPN, you will also be helping me out. So check it out. The first one is called Warrior. Warrior. Uh, I guess it's a bit underrated. I don't know. I haven't really heard anybody talking about it. Um, what I love about it is it's gritty. It's kind of a little bit fast paced. Guns, shooting, backstabbing drugs, a couple of really good Danish actors that I love, and it's a short series, it's like six episodes, so you don't have to invest uh, weeks into watching this thing. And also because it's kind of this gangster vibe, the vocabulary is pretty straightforward, you know, it's things are getting repeated again and again, a lot of swearing, it's pretty easy watching. Check it out if you didn't already. If you did, let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. Okay, the second one is... Equinox. Again, a short series, six episodes, I think, again. What I like about it is kind of dark, mysterious. There's a special mystical book. Uh, it's kind of a bit sexy. And again, it's good for learning Danish because the vocabulary is not too heavy. So that was two uh, cool recommendations for you. The last thing I want to recommend is the kids section. Uh, you don't have to be pretentious in any way when you're learning a language. You don't have to like feel like you keep up with the trends or anything just go in the kids section and find some cool stuff that's fun easy to watch the most important thing is that you're learning some vocabulary i have a son so of course i also watch it but i also kind of a sucker for for fun things like this there's one that's called i forgot what it's called uh hi ninja or i think it's called hello ninja hi ninja it's really fun just like two kids that are ninjas and they they have to summon the power of different animals so that's also really cool because one second they have like a tiger a monkey or whatever and you get this uh, vocabulary and they also have a really funny cat that they take everywhere i forgot his name well it doesn't matter uh then i like one what is it uh kung fu panda of course you can get some really uh great movies on there that are animated movies kung fu panda being one of them you probably see a theme reoccurring here i have a, i have a thing for kung fu and uh and ninjas and stuff like that um, but you can find what what uh, what you are into. So those were my very modest recommendations: Warrior, Equinox, uh, Express VPN, and Kids Section. Don't be shy. Get into the Kids Section. There's some awesome stuff like, um, and you can spend just 10 or 15 minutes watching one episode of something. It doesn't have to be that you, again, investing a lot of time. And that's what's important here when we're finding stuff to watch, because sometimes it can feel like a chore. You know, I'm trying to do it with Spanish, and if I find something I love, I just binge watch it anyway. But sometimes it can really feel like a challenge to find something that's fun, easy, and I'm also learning something. So, apart from that, uh, thanks for watching. I'm sorry if the sound is a bit shitty and the camera angle is a bit shitty. Uh, I don't have my tripod or any of my equipment with me that I would usually have when I'm in Denmark. So, it's kind of really homemade right now. But I'm kind of enjoying it. Here's my green screen, a bit of behind the scenes here, all made from, from paper. <laughs> I'm not using it in this video because the sun is shining too crazy. Anyway, uh, whoa, what's going on? Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. I'm gonna make uh, some similar videos like this one where I, where I recommend some other movies, TV shows on other platforms or just ones that you can generally look out for. So look out for that. See you again. Vsace. Hi hi. Danish tube.